Greetings and welcome to the introduction to physical science. In this video, we are going to look at the balancing chemical equation simulator that we will be using for one of the labs in my physical science class. So if you come up to this screen, you just press play and that will start the simulator or you may go directly to this screen. So there's two different things to look at here. There is the introduction, which explains what we're doing here. And then there's a game for you to play. So let's go ahead and look at what we'll be doing. The first in the introduction. Well, the idea is to balance the chemical equations. And if you recall, you balance the chemical equations by changing the coefficients. So the coefficients are what you can change here out in front of each of the molecules. Remember that the subscripts are fixed. You can't change this three or this two because that is defining what the molecule is. This is a molecule of hydrogen, which is two hydrogen atoms bound together. You can't change that to balance the equations, no matter how tempting it might be in some cases. So let's go ahead and look at an example here. And we can go ahead and use the tools here if we want. We can look at the balance tool, for example. And there's two different ways to look at it, but we can look at the balance here. Now what we want in order to have the equation balanced is to have each side balanced. We want to have the same number of nitrogens on each side and the same number of hydrogens. Now in the simulator, it's a good idea to go ahead and start and just put one of each because you know you're going to use one, at least one of each molecule. And you can start to get an idea of where the balance is. What do we see here? Well, if we look on the left side here, we have too much nitrogen on the left. On the right side, we have too much hydrogen. So we need a little more nitrogen on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and add a nitrogen because we need a little more nitrogen there. Now our nitrogens are balanced, but our hydrogens aren't. So we have two hydrogens on this side and six on this side. So let's add more hydrogens here until now we get our smiley face, everything is balanced. So this is now a balanced chemical equation. One nitrogen molecule plus three hydrogen molecules gives us two molecules of ammonia. And you can go through the practice to separate water and do that as well. So you could look at separate water, same kind of thing. Start off with a one on each and then adjust as you need to until you get everything balanced. And then there's finally one to combust methane. So once you've done those and get a little comfortable with it, then we're going to look at the game. So the game has three levels to play with. And of course, they get harder and harder. You can turn on the timer if you like. I'm not going to do that here for this demonstration. But let's just go ahead and look at level one. So let's take a look at the very first one in level one. Now we have here we have ammonia and we have nitrogen and we have hydrogen. So let's go ahead and look at what we need. Again, put one in each. Now you don't have your little scale here as we had in the other, but we can look and see that what do we have on this side? Well, here we have one nitrogen in the blue and here we have two. So the first thing we can see is that we're going to need a second one of these to balance it. Now we have two nitrogens on this side, two nitrogens on this side. And we have count three plus three is six hydrogens. So we need to do this up again to six. And of course, this looks very familiar because it's the same one we just did in the practice earlier, but the same kind of thing. Now, we should be all balanced. Once you're ready, you click on check to make sure you're correct, and it will give you a few points for doing that. And you can work your way through those. It will ask you in your worksheets to go through and check a few of those, and it will give you several different ones to actually compare and try to get a better understanding of balancing equations. Some will be relatively simple. When you get to level three, they'll start to get a lot more complex. So we'll go ahead and stop here so you can work on the other ones on your own. But that concludes this video on the balancing chemical equations simulator that we will be using for one of our labs. We'll be back again next time to look at another one of our lab simulators. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.